Hello and happy Sunday, everybody. It's Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com, and today is Sunday, September the 15th, and it is time to get started. This is chat number 139, and it is titled, Got a Carb Plan? Make One. So I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of you all here tonight because I want to talk about carbs. That's a very interesting subject to me. Um, first of all, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody had a great week this week. Um, we still have extremely hot weather here so the hair is back up. This is actually the third outfit that I've had on today. The third one. Um, anyway, super, super hot. Hello, Carolou. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just YouTube.com. And if you don't want to see all the high hellos, just go ahead and grab that little scroll bar and drag it over to about 10 minutes because that's when it kind of dies down. Otherwise, I'm going to be saying hi and hello, and I hope you'll say hello back. And if it is your very first time here, please let us know because we would love to welcome you. And hello, Betty. And hello, Melanie. And hello, Renee. And hello, Marianne. Yeah, so another great week this week. Hello, Heather. Heather says, hello, hello. Hello, Carol. Good to see you, Carol. Um, but I hope everybody had an awesome week. Hello, Amy. And hello, Irma. Casey will not be with us tonight, I don't think. Hello, Teresa, because she is helping um, she is helping a friend of ours. And yes, hello, Barbara from the hot crossroads. It definitely is. And hello, Evie says it's hot in Texas, too. And hello, Sandra from Demon's Ferry. And hello, Lynn. But I don't think Casey's going to make it here with us tonight because um, she's been helping a friend of ours launch um, her new website, and that is Mocha Moon. In case you all have any young ladies in your lives who would love to have some full, some cool, fun clothes. Um, and hello, Angela, uh, Angela from Kentucky. Hello, Marlene from Largo, Florida. It's hot there, too. I know it's supposed to be hot in Florida. We're in Tennessee. It's September. Come on. Come on, weatherman. Cool, you know, cool it down a little bit. Hello, Susan. And hello, Christine. Hello, so anyway, the friends of ours, it's just Mocha Moon, Casey, and our friend Jessica have worked really, really hard on it. And Jessica is also the one who is working on our website. She has to finish the Casey Kitchen Center one first, and then she'll get started on If You Have an Egg. But if you want to take a sneak peek at her work, it is Mocha Moon, M-O-C-A-M-O-O-N.com. And just let them know that Kelly and Casey sent you and tell them that we said hi because they had a very exciting day today for their first launch. Um, but anyway, some really cute clothes. Nothing I'll be wearing, but really, really cute clothes. And hello, Kathy. And hello, Trish from sunny, hot California. Okay, so where is it not hot right now? Aloha, Kathy. Hello, Trish from New Jersey. Is there anywhere that it's not hot right now? Anywhere? Anywhere at all? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I know, because I'm going wherever wherever you are if you, if you can find somewhere that's not hot. But again, it is Sunday, and it is September the 15th. And um, this is chat number 139, titled, Got a Carb Plan? Make one. Hello, Liz. Yay, Liz made it. Awesome, awesome. Hello, Lisa from Arkansas. And oh, thank you, Sandra. I love you, too. I love you guys. Um, Jennifer from California has been MIA for a while, but she is ready to get back on track. Awesome. And yes, Teresa, it is so dry here. So dry. Hello, Maria from San Diego. It 94 in San Diego. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, goodness. Okay, and hello, Margie, hot in Idaho, too. See? Okay, it's hot in Idaho. Yeah. And hello, Sue from New Zealand. Good to see you. Happy Monday to Sue in New Zealand. Hello, Rosie from California. Um, and hello, Vicki from Missouri. Yeah, super, super hot. We took Dusty on a super long walk today. Karen bailed on me, so in case she's here, hmm. Yeah, she bailed on me. She went I with her husband again. Anyway, not this family things. Um, hello, Melissa. Hello, Myra from Texas. And hello, Lacey. So John and I went on a walk. So hot. So hot. And because it's been so long since it's rained, nowhere for Dusty to stop and get any water. So we had to stop a couple of places and make a spot to get some water. But anyway, okay. Sunday, September the 15th. And we had an awesome week last week. Thank you to everybody that was here. Um, you all killed it on your homework. I mean, absolutely killed it. Whoop, hold on. Sorry, I have to say one thing. Hello, Betty is headed home from Gatlinburg. Um, or she, I'm sorry, she got home from Gatlinburg two hours ago. Betty, what'd you think? Gatlinburg is like an hour from us, so I was super happy to see your pictures from up there. It made me really excited. Oh, and in case Casey shows up, I did my nails before we started. I actually did them last night, and this one is called Material Ghoul. So look, can you see that it's got like blood drippings on it and things? Anyway, super, super cute. Yeah. So Casey does color street in case anybody didn't know that. But I have been doing really good at not chewing at my fingers when I, when I was without the nails um, for a couple of days. Chewed up the sides of my fingers. So they're looking good again. Okay, so I did them last night so that I would be sure and have them for today and not chew on my fingernails today. Chew on my fingers and my fingernails today. Okay, and Maria in New Hampshire. Hello. 
So that was a reward to myself. Hello, Vicky, for doing my homework. And I'm going to reward you all in a second for your homework, but doing my homework and also for sticking to my plan um, this week. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Sandra had another great weight loss, 1.6 pounds. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Bonnie says it is 70 degrees in, I don't know what up of Michigan is today. Upper Peninsula? Is that what that means of Michigan today? Yeah. 70, oh yeah, Bonnie said that it was 70 in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan today, and we need to go there. Yes, we need to go there, definitely. Hello, Loretta. Hello, Shirley Ann. And yes, whoop, and it's Betty's fifth trip out there. Her niece got married. I saw that. I saw that. I hope the wedding went well. Okay, so homework. Hello, Barbara. Y'all were killing it this week. I mean, killing it, killing it. Um... Oh, Vicki asks if the snap peas at Kroger's are seasoned. No, they are not seasoned. They are in a giant bag. I mean, it is this big. It's this big and it's over with the fresh produce. It's a huge bag and it's it kind of, a, it's a little pricey, but um, yeah, you'll, you'll know it if you see it because the bag is like, it's like that big. And I wish I had one to show you, but we didn't, we didn't spend money on snap peas this week. We'll talk about spending money on groceries here in just a second. First, everyone who, um, Everyone who attended last week, who sat your bottom in a chair, who hashtag, Barbara's loving doing this, who's hashtag sat your bottom in a chair last week, give me a thumbs up if you sat your bottom in a chair last week, and we'll talk about your homework in a second, but a thumbs up if you sat your bottom in a chair, and a heart if you attended here with us last week, or if you did both. So if you sat in a chair and did a heart, did a heart, sat in a chair and attended with us last week, then you get a heart. Okay, and I'm sorry, Carol says I look a little blurry tonight. Mm, I don't know. Maybe the stuff I have sitting here, does anybody else think I look blurry? Because to me, it looks fine. So I can't tell. Okay. Bravo. Lots and lots and lots of thumbs ups. Lots of hearts. So good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Thumbs up and hearts for everybody who did that. Bravo stickers all the way around. Good job, everyone. Good job. Extra Bravo stickers to those who did their homework. So many of y'all did your homework. So last week, we talked about rushing less and enjoying more. This was our, let's see. Ooh, Lisa did both and lost 1.8. Awesome, good job. Okay, and Barbara yet said, yes, you do. Yes, I do what? Look blurry or I'll look fine? I don't ever know which one. I don't know which question you're answering. Anyway, so it was rush less and enjoy more. And so what we talked about last week, hmm, okay, hold on, I'm gonna touch myself. Hello, Wanda. I'm gonna make it focus on me me so maybe i won't be so blurry except now the light has dimmed itself and i don't know why okay i think it's because i have stuff sitting here and i think it's trying to focus on some of the stuff anyway okay i'll move this stuff maybe it won't maybe it won't try to focus on some of the stuff and now it looks a little dark to me anyway okay so yeah and y'all are saying i'm in and out of focus i don't know what to do i don't know what to do okay hold on let me see if i can Focus on myself again. Come on. And for those of you that are watching later on YouTube, I know I'm driving you crazy. I know, now it's too dark. Okay, hold on a second. Let's see, what do we do here? Okay, let me try to get back in. Okay, anyway, so homework. You all were killing it on your homework last week. You all did so good. Let me move that and see if that helps any with the brightness of this. Okay, you all were doing so good on your homework last week. Awesome. Hello, Mary. So, so many people did the rush less, enjoy more. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You all, I was getting lots, I was getting notifications about people eating with their left hand. Who was it that ate the corn with your left hand? That was so funny. That was so funny. Whoever was talking about eating corn with your left hand. I wanted to see some videos of you all doing this. Um, but a lot of, a lot, a lot of left-handed eaters, a lot of people that were watching whoever the closest family member was to them, um, to see how, you know, to eat slow, you know, like to eat slower with them, like to try and thank you <laughs> to try and eat slower and let take and, um, you know, to try and slow down, you know, and eat some, um, uh, Denise that is in our physical group she put, took a placemat to work and she set the placemat work set the placemat out and she said that really helped because she you know felt like she was at lunch because she only has 15 minutes for lunch that's not very long um, but she said that you know really really worked 
and um oh my gosh what else did you all do oh enjoying the colors you know talking about looking at the different colors taking some pictures i saw some really good pictures um, of some good you know some good food so you all did a great job on your homework last week and thank you so much for tagging me always remember to tag us if we're um, on instagram tag at remember we talked about this last week Hello, up joni from california talk we, last week we talked about um Oh, and Vicky tried to match bite to bite with her five-year-old grandson, and it was really slow. I couldn't do that with Alyssa because she double fists it. She's eating with both hands all the time. But remember last week we talked about the at sign. So if you're going to tag me on Instagram, it's at if you have an egg. If you're going to tag me here on the Facebook page, it is at if you have an egg. If you're going to tag me on Weight Watchers Connect, WW Connect, it is at scrap in stamp 2, S-C-R-A-P-N-S-T-A-M-P-2. And if you're going to tag me in our closed group, it is just at Kelly Green. And before you get the Milligan typed out, I should already pop it. But y'all did a great job. So bravo stickers to everyone who did their homework last week. Y'all did a great job. Great job. And you did a great job of tagging me. It was very fun. Um, I enjoyed it very much. Very, very much. So y'all are getting really good at your homework. We're going to pause for a second before we move to this week's topic, though, because I do want to pop in and say that last week we talked a little bit about WWing, WWing hmm, on a budget. Um, and so what I tried to do this week was to kit, hold, sorry. What I tried to do this week was to keep my fill-in groceries to under $25. <clears throat> so let me just say, there are only two of those. So before anyone goes, you know, off the charts, you know, about, only you know only spending $25 there are two of us only two of us um what I feed Alyssa is so small that um we had her mom buy a get her mom and dad buy a gallon of milk for us because that was probably the most expensive thing that she drinks um I did buy some diapers but as far as groceries and um, this is what I spent on groceries and we um, have a freezer still have a freezer full. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Patty says someone did a crossword puzzle with the family at the dinner table. That was genius. She said she thought that was genius. That was genius. That was a really good one. Um, but we have a freezer full of, um, we still have a freezer full of food. So week one, so the whole first week, we ate mainly out of our freezer and out of our pantry. Um, so we really didn't spend anything on groceries the first week. This is the second week and we had to do um, some fill in. So, and this is only food, this is not toiletries. So I didn't buy any shampoo with this. I didn't buy any toilet paper. I didn't buy any makeup. No, you know, no toiletries. This is literally just food. Um, and it's to fill in, you know, it's kind of our, to supplement, you know, what we already have. So please do not think that the two of us are gonna eat every single meal, you know, that we're gonna get every single meal out of $25, okay. So, but this is our fill in for this week. So we already had some staples and, you know, we have some things that we already had that we had purchased in bulk before, you know, from Costco. We already had some meat in the freezer, but we went to Aldi today and we did keep it at, hopefully you can see that, twenty four seventy eight. So I didn't actually, I didn't actually like calculate it, you know, as we were walking around. Um, I just tried to keep a tally in my head and I am not that good at math. Not, not good at math. So I was pleasantly surprised when the guy said that it was twenty four seventy eight because I was like, yeah, I was trying to keep it at twenty five or under, and I really, really thought that I was over. I really thought that I was over. Not, I was at twenty four seventy eight. So just keep an eye out for um, for what we ate, what we did, um, kind of how I got started. We're not going to get into all that tonight because that's a totally, you know, totally separate. Could take, you know, a couple of hours, you know, um, you know, at the same time or taking a couple hours, you know, just on its own. But I did make a list of everything that we got. Um, and I will be posting that. So I did a mini grocery haul, you know, because usually a grocery haul for me is like a hundred dollars, like a, a little, usually over a hundred dollars. We have two people in our family, two. So we don't need a hundred dollars of the groceries every week. We end up with a lot of surplus, which is why I'm not having to spend a lot of money right now. Okay. So this week, I don't know why I'm doing two this week. We talked about um, get a carb plan. Do you have a carb plan? If not, you need to make one. So this is chat number 139. It is got a carb plan, make one. So this is this week's recipe. I thought it looked really, really good. And John and I had something similar um, for supper the last two nights um, with a spaghetti squash. So this one is a veggie pasta and they've got pasta in um, parentheses. A veggie pasta with lemon chives and goat cheese. Okay, we didn't have any goat cheese, but, and thank you everyone. Um, 
but we did use a spaghetti squash in place of the zoodles um, and we used some marinara sauce and we used um, some cheese some shredded light cheese that I had left over from Trader Joe's and um, things like that in it and some other vegetables we had mushrooms and let me think what else we had in it I don't know I'll post it later but this one I think is a great idea this is we call them zoodles so this does not have any zoodles in it but zoodles to me are zucchini noodles and if you have one of those little spiralizers and you can get them really really cheap now they used to be not they were never expensive i mean you can get a really super fancy one and then spiralizer that if you're going to do this a lot that actually you can put you can put the vegetables in there and turn it like this and it's like making noodles you know like crazy um but i just have the little um spiralizer and um and i use it with zucchini and i make zoodles out of the zucchini i use it with um carrots and make koodles so they're like little carrot noodles and i use it with squash like yellow squash and make scoodles and that's what i call them but you can buy them already pre-made right now we're not buying any pre-made stuff like that because that's too expensive because that would put us over the 25 dollars um but you can make that and it saves a lot on points carbs and a lot of other things but this week we are talking about making a carb plan so who has ever done who has ever done let me know if you've ever done a low carb diet, a low or no carb diet. Oh, one other thing we did last week to save money. I started making my own tea. I'll just, side, just go, I'll just circle back around here for a second. I started making my own tea. So instead of spending between two and four dollars a day every day at Sonic or McDonald's or whatever, buying a bunch of tea, I started making my own tea. So just stick a tea bag in your glass. And if you leave it in the refrigerator overnight, you have tea. I don't sweeten my tea though, even though I'm from the South, I don't sweeten my tea. But who's done a low or no carb diet? So raise your hand. You're, it's already a lot of people. So just while I was talking about the tea, it's already a lot of people. So Carol said that her doctor had her do a, lo a low carb diet for two weeks to track her IBS. And she did so well on it. She sat on it for a month and she lost 12 pounds. That's great. That's great. That's awesome if you can sustain it. I'm not saying you won't, Carol. I'm just saying if you can sustain it. A low carb, no carb, um, like people who say, if you know, people who say, oh, I'm not doing carbs right now. Not doing carbs right now. I know, so, Barbara, we're the only people from the South who don't drink sweet tea. I think, yeah. Um, but people that say, you know, that they're doing a low carb or a no carb diet, um, actually, what they're eating, unless they're just eating only meat, is not no carb anyway so everything that has this made from a plant or that started out as a plant um has carbs in it everything so low carb or no carb diets i think are fine for short term i think they are fine as a monitored diet and um, like if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic um, or you have some other issues but as a normal general just weight loss plan i personally and nobody jump me I personally do not think that a no carb diet is sustain is sustainable. I don't think you can do it for you know for a long time yet. And Teresa, that was an awesome picture today, by the way, doesn't do it because she runs. Um, yeah, she's got to have some carbs. She has to have some carbs. But Teresa said exactly the right word. We're going to talk a little bit about good carbs. So the reason that WW wants us to focus this week on a carb plan. It's because they want you to know you need to inc you need to include some carbs in your diet. Again, it's going to be different for all of us, you know. So again, if you're diabetic, pre-diabetic, and if you're having you know some um, like if you're uh, need to be gluten free or something like that, you're going to have a different um, idea of carbs and what kinds of carbs than you know than some of the rest of us. But from a just from a weight loss only standpoint, um, I love what this says. Once and for all, let's settle this food fight. So. Once and for all, let's settle this food fight. I love that statement. Yes, you can eat carbs and lose weight. In fact, many carb sources are rich in fiber and nutrients your body needs, which is why the zero point food list is full of them. That said, all carbs are not created equal. They are not. Um, and eating more of the healthier kind helps you keep helps keep you on track and within your points budget. Um, so what they're talking about, number one, swap in healthier, healthier carbs for the sweet stuff number two play with the ingredients and number three discover all the zero point carbs so swapping in healthier um, healthier sweet stuff so instead of candy which is a lot of carbs um 
things that are sugary, <laughs> excuse me, cookies, things like that. You can try apples dipped in um, non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, you could add just a little bit of, you know, honey to it. Um, you can do some, you know, some of the flavored yogurts, you know, things like that. Um, you know, swap some of those carbs out. Um, or use something like Lily's um, chocolate chips, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Um, if you can tolerate some artificial sweeteners, use some of those. Use some stevia, you know, use something like that. Um, play with the ingredients. So playing with the ingredients, this is playing with the ingredients because it would have been so easy on something like this just to say, oh, I'm just going to make it out of noodles. You know, I'm going to make it out of spaghetti or I'm going to make it out of ziti, you know, or something like that. Um, but you can replace some of the things, you know, like um, instead of sugar, you know, in pancakes or baked goods and oatmeal, you can add a little bit uh, more a different spice to it. You can add pumpkin spice because it is pumpkin spice season. Um, you can add, you know, some of the lower, um, you know, lower carb sweeteners you know if you again if you can tolerate some of the sugars i use the um i use the uh baking blend the trivia baking blend because it does have sugar in it but it's cut with stevia so it still has kind of the sugar taste but it's cut with stevia so it's not as many carbs and it's not as many points um cinnamon spice and cinnamon and apple pie spice perfect for this time of year i mean absolutely perfect for this time of year you know and if you're baking apples with it it's already sweet enough you do not need to add you know any other sweetener and you know go through and discover all the zero point carbs so they list some here peas beans lentils and chickpeas plus a rainbow of fruits and veggies pile them into a veggie bowl use zucchini zoodles instead of pasta instead of pasta try cauliflower rice there are so many options so hey kim um when you're talking about playing with your food that is what we did for the last two nights so part of part of this not spending so much on groceries um you know for the next few weeks one of the things was i did an inventory of everything that we had here you know or that we already had here you know like if i had you know canned goods that i had gotten at costco um if i had and apparently i like apparently we have a lot of black beans i'm not really sure why but we had like i think there was like five five cans of black beans i don't know apparently i like them and they were all different kinds. So it's not like I bought a case of them at Costco or Sam's or something. It was like four, three different kinds of black beans. Anyway, apparently I grab them everywhere I go. Um, but when I was doing that list, one of the things that was on the list was a spaghetti squash. And I thought, well, A, I wanna use the spaghetti squash, you know, before it goes bad. B, um, that would be perfect for this. And C, that would be perfect because I won't have to buy something else. We can already use the spaghetti squash. So if you don't know how to cook a spaghetti squash in the air fryer, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, just go back a couple of videos um, or search. And if you're not watching this on YouTube, just go to youtube.com, search if you have an egg, and then within my videos, look for spaghetti squash. And I will show you how to make a spaghetti squash, spaghetti squash in the air fryer. And it was perfect absolutely perfect so we took a regular size spaghetti squash which is this big cooked the whole thing and then i you know kind of made the little spaghetti noodles you know with the fork and then um we added mushrooms and marinara sauce and nutritional yeast and some shredded cheese um oh and we added turkey kielbasa that i had in the freezer so i didn't spend any money on that the marinara sauce I already had the mushrooms I already had the nutritional yeast of course i already had so i literally already had everything that i put in there and it made four servings so we had it for dinner last night and then it, we, we had it for dinner again um tonight super delicious super easy um and we swapped out all of those carbs so and the funny thing is john even asked me he said is spaghetti squash more filling than um is it more filling than pasta noodles and i said i i don't know maybe um because he had said he has said the last two nights after eating that that he feels um that he feels funny i'm not funny i'm sorry I, julie just said this that is funny so i said funny um but anyway so he feels fuller so he feels fuller from that i also feel full so I'm going to say that's that's a win, you know, that's a win, um, you know, in the corner. And I just did a quick tally, um, not of everything that was in there, but just of the spaghetti squash. And I'm sorry, hold on a second. Um, <laughs> apparently, yeah, so Loretta's saying that black beans are good for you. Tag says, make black bean chili. I have the same problem. Um, Julie says, that is funny. I have the same black bean situation going on and not sure why or how, LOL. I, know, I don't know. And Loretta says, my oncologist is all for beans, legumes, grains, and veggies. Carol says, more fiber. Um, 
do let me sidetrack again because y'all know I love to sidetrack. At least I'm not making you do the exercises like we did last year. And but let me sidetrack and say if y'all start adding a lot of beans and legumes, please also add a lot more water. And there we have a new um we have a new it's not really a WW group, but a new weight loss group in the camping group, the camping at Disney group that John and I are in. And one of the girls is a little, mm, let's just say pent up because she added a lot more fiber and has not started consuming more water. So yeah, hello Sherry in Connecticut. So if you're gonna add a lot more beans, legumes, things like that, you need to amp up the water a little bit too, just saying. Okay, so swapping out the spaghetti squash, we swapped out a half of a cup of spaghetti squash for a half of a cup of whole wheat pasta. Okay, a half of a cup of whole wheat pasta um, is only two smart points, but it has 15 grams of carbs. A half of a cup of spaghetti squash is zero smart points and five carbs. So we reduced the carbs by three, so in a third, so, he, so it was a third, not a third less, it was like two thirds less, but it was a third of the carbs of the whole wheat pasta. Um, I'm gonna say it tasted a whole lot better. Like, I like whole wheat. I like whole wheat pasta, um, but the spaghetti squash, I think, was better. I think it was absolutely better. Whoop! And Trish just started a mason jar with two tea bags for tomorrow. Good job, Trish. This is delicious. Like today's is today's is uh, lemon twinnings lemon green tea, um, and. Yeah, I know that has, I know that has um, caffeine in it. Oh, well, sorry. I didn't make the one for, for nighttime. But anyway, so half a cup of spaghetti squash, <laughs> excuse me, Carol Lou says more fiber in the spaghetti squash could be why you feel for, could be, could be. And, it, and I'm telling you, it's the flavor is delicious. If you have never had a spaghetti squash, you have to try one. I don't know. It's just like, a, it's a nutty flavor and it's not, um, I don't know, it's still kind of firm. So it would be like al dente pasta or whatever. It's not mushy. I don't know, I love it. And even reheated, so even reheated tonight, it was still on the money. Very delicious, I loved it. And I couldn't believe that John liked it. So I know, thank you, Liz. These are, it's Color Street, Casey sells them and it is called Material Ghoul. So y'all have to look up Casey's Color Street. But anyway, um, ooh, Trish's is strawberry cheesecake tea bags. Yum, yum, how delicious. Anyway, so half a cup of spaghetti squash was five carbs and zero smart points. A half of a cup of whole wheat pasta was two smart points and 15 carbs. Okay, so your, we only have three minutes. So your homework for this week, um, I'm gonna say, so you could do one, two, or three. I'm gonna say do number one. So I want, thank you. Yeah, these are from Casey, Material Ghoul. But look, which one is it? This blood, one of them is blood dripping. And I was a little nervous about it, but I think they're pretty. Okay, anyway. Okay. Oh, Heather. Heather, this is tea. So, as part of the money saving thing um, for this next month, I'm making my own tea. And so, I just put the tea bag in the mason jar and put it in the refrigerator overnight. Hello, Vicky. Um, to save money. Because I was spending probably between 2 and $4 a day every single day on, on tea. Yeah, so. I'm making my own tea now. Okay, so I want you all to do... Number one, so I'm gonna say swap in something. Um, so I'm gonna say swap in something. This is says for something sweet. You could do it for something sweet or something not sweet, um, for you know for something savory. So for your homework this week, I'm gonna say. And Trish says, do you usually have the lights on in the background behind you near the microwave cabinet? Yes, I do. I always have them on. I think the lights are a little off tonight because I tried touching. I tried touching the iPad since people were saying that I was blurry and it made me, um, and it made it a teeny bit darker. But anyway, yes, I do normally have those lights on. Why? Why? What does it look like? Okay. So anyway, your homework for this week, and remember to tag me. So on Instagram, it's at scrap, at, at scrap and step, at if you have an egg. Here on the Facebook page, it's at if you have an egg. On, in our closed group, it is at Kelly Green Milligan, and it'll pop up before you get through the green. Um, and on WW Connect, it is at Scrap and Stamp 2. And if you're ta if you're commenting on either the blog, that's www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, or on YouTube, that's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. If you are, and I think Casey's here, if you are commenting on one of those, just comment, because I'll see them, I will see them anyway. 
Um, let's see. Seems like when you move away from the shine and then come back, it gets out of focus. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. Y'all know that sometimes Facebook hates me, so I don't know. Okay. We are getting ready for the second part, and the second part's going to have a lot of stuff in it, so hopefully it is going to agree with me. You know, the focus part is going to agree with me on that, um, but your homework for tonight or for this week, don't forget to tag me, is to swap out something. So just like John and I swapped out the spaghetti squash for, um, for noodles, for whole wheat pasta, I want y'all to pick something. So I want y'all to find something that's lower carb and swap it out for something um, that's higher carb. So that also means you're gonna have to do a little bit of research because you're gonna be surprised at one of these things that I'm gonna tell you. So I'm actually gonna tell you one when we get started on part two because then the rest of it is gonna be a game. And y'all know how much I love games. Okay, so that is it for um, the first part of our chat. I hope everybody will stay around for the second part for the extra credit. Um, make your plan, tag me in it, go ahead and swap something out that's a higher carb for a lower carb, tag me and get your homework and get your Bravo sticker. Okay, so that is it for, hello Susie. So that is it for part one. So we're gonna get ready for the um, extra credit and I'm gonna give y'all a big surprise in the beginning. So hold on just a second. Lynn says it's the ghoulish nails. She says the ghoulish nails are making me go in and out of focus. Okay, we are back for part two of chat number 139 and it is titled, Got a Carb Plan? Make One. And, um, oh, Teg says she thinks it's a weak signal. I don't know, I have the fastest one that they'll give us with Comcast, but anyway, so, huh. This is part two, and this is your extra credit. And this is chat number 139, titled Got a Car Plan, Make One. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is shocking, shocking news that I have to look up on my phone, so give me just a second. Okay, when I started doing the my homework for your homework for the second part of this chat, um, I saw a commercial for the new, is it called Amazing? It's the, it's the new burger at Burger King. Hold on just a second, it's the new burger at Burger King that is um, plant-based. So first of all, I got excited, you know, because it was a plant-based burger. Um, then I went to look it up. So let me look it up here for you. This is actually relevant to the second part of our, to the second part of our chat. Okay, so Burger King. Burger King. So has anybody had that? Has anybody had the new, had, had the new plant-based burger? And I think it is called impossible Impo i said incredible okay it's called the impossible whopper okay so a regular whopper oh and in case y'all didn't know it in case you didn't see my post earlier you need a piece of paper and a pencil or you know some kind of a writing utensil because this game is going to require you to either write things if you didn't print off what i what i posted probably only 45 minutes before the chat okay a regular whopper so a regular whopper sandwich is 21 smart points, 40 grams of fat, 49 carbohydrates. So 49, 49 carbohydrates. Okay, 20 regular burger, regular Whopper sandwich, 21, 21 points, 49 carbohydrates. And, cause I was gonna use this as an example. Then the Impossible Whopper, which is a plant-based, it's a plant-based burger, okay. 20 points 20 so it's only one point less and it's 58 grams of carbohydrates 58 hello Connie 58 so it's more it's it's 58 grams of carbohydrates so for everyone who's saying I'm just eating vegetables because it's less carbohydrates I'm not making fun of you I'm just saying you need to look it up look it up before you decide that I was thinking about going and getting an Impossible Burger. No way. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, and Loretta says, wow, how could that be healthy? No, I don't see how. I do not see how. I don't see how. Yeah, but Carol says a lot of the carbs are in the bun. They have the same bun. <laughs> it's the same bun. So, yeah, it's way more carbs. Okay, so I'm not going to fuss about the Burger King Incredible. Here's the list that you're going to make. So... I am going to, oh, and Connie didn't really like it. And Robin says, it is impossible. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so here is the list that you're gonna make. We are going to talk about a banana. So y'all need to be making your list right now. I'm gonna go back through it, but y'all need, it's gonna be a banana, um, a medium apple, a small potato, 60 Lily's dark chocolate chips, and I'll explain what this is about in a second. A half of a cup of carrots. A half of a cup of quick oats. Not doing a great job of holding this up. A half of a cup of quick oats. A half of a cup of instant quinoa. A half of a cup of refried beans. And I probably should have put these in order. Mm. Good job, Betty. Wrote, wrote them down right before the chat. A half of a cup of pumpkin. Just canned pumpkin. Nothing else in it. 16 turkey pepperonis. Let's see. And there's Dusty. And a cup of sauerkraut. Okay. While y'all are panicking and writing all that down, let me say this. Before we start talking about any of this, we do have to talk about serving sizes for just a second. And I know that y'all want to have a chat about serving sizes, but we really, really need to talk about serving sizes for just a second, okay? Before we start talking about this. Um, this is a Live Liga, I can't even say it, Live Spoons by Live Liga. So these are measuring spoons. If you don't have something like this, I have all kinds of utensils here at the loft that measure, you know, that serve food, but that also measure. Um, and a lot of times, some of the little pretty cups that y'all have seen me use, I use those A, because they're pretty, and B, because I already know how much is in them. They're like half a cup, a fourth of a cup, a third of a cup, you know, something like that. And Loretta says, yes, please. So tonight is gonna be a little tiny precursor to our serving size you know, to a serving size chat that we need to have. I'm just trying to find the right thing to pair it with. And the carb thing was so important to me that I wanted to talk about carbs. But get something like this, invest in it. I know this this one's $49.99. Um, they have less expensive, you know, plastic ones. The reason this one is $49.99, um, it is stainless steel. It's They're really pretty. They have this little, I can't open this box because this is for sale in the shop. So I can't open it, but this has, you know, it has this little wavy thing where, so that it will sit and it won't flip over and you can hang it on the side of a, um, of a pan or something. But the, um, live spoons have, they have a one cup, they have a one cup, a half a cup, a three fourths of a cup and a, an eighth of a cup. And so two eighths of a cup is a fourth of a cup. That's why there's no fourth of a cup in there, but, um, but it does have four spoons. We have that one in the showroom and that will be on the KC Kitchen Center website. And um, when Jessica releases it, and we're going to have ours soon, but that's just kckitchencenter.com, the letter K, the letter C, kitchencenter.com, but we will have the live spoons. Um, but try to find, even if you don't purchase, you know, spoons like that, Try to find some other things that will help you with your measuring because we do need to talk about servings. So the reason I'm saying let's talk about servings tonight, this is a small apple. This is a medium apple. I did not buy one of the big honking apples like we did last time. Tonight we will be talking, you know, because last time we talked about serving sizes in fruit. We had a small and we had a medium and we had the, a huge one, a huge one. So this is small. This is medium. Tonight we will be talking about a medium size apple. Okay. Not the small apple tonight, the medium size apple. Then this is a medium size banana. The small ones are about this long. The large ones are like this long. They're ridiculous. I mean, they're like ridiculously long. And you know, back in the day, a, a big banana Half of it was in one point, so a whole banana used to be two points. So we'll be talking about a regularly sized banana, um, <coughs> potatoes. This is a small potato. This is a small potato, and see how it kind of fits in the palm of my hand and it's not like grossly sticking out. This is a large potato. So, or I'm sorry, a medium potato. This one's a small, this one's a medium. A large would be like the size you get at Wendy's or, um, not really the size that you get at like Cracker Barrel or something, or if you're from around here, Betty's Barbecue, they're like this big. So this is a, this 
is a small potato. So tonight we will be talking about a small potato. <coughs> Let me get my tea. And then everything else is pretty much a serving. Like the quinoa, this is a cup. So that is one cup of quinoa. Um, uh, carrots, a half of a cup is a serving. Um, Fat-free refried beans, a half of a cup is a serving. Pumpkin, a half of a cup is a serving. Um, the pepperonis, I think, are 16. 16 are in a serving. Anyway, so the point is, please just pay attention to your serving sizes. So I know a lot of people that have been getting eating more and more and more and more and more now that some of these things are zero points um, on freestyle, um, but they're eating just because they're zero points, not or like eating more just because they're zero points, not because they're hungry. So please pay attention to your serving sizes. Okay, so the fun game that we're going to play, let's go down our list again, and hopefully you all have written these down because you're going to have to put these in order. Okay. So again, we have, oh, I forgot something. Hold on. Two slices. This, sorry, I had to put this out of the way while we were starting the chat because it was taking too much room. Two slices of fit and active whole wheat, the 35 calorie bread. So this is 35 calories a slice. Okay, so two slices of that. The next thing on the list is a banana. The next thing on the list is a medium size apple. Remember, we're talking about a medium size apple instead of a small apple, a medium size apple. The next thing on the list is a small potato. So it's the kind that fits in your hand. The next thing on the list is 60 Lily's dark chocolate chips. And the reason that I specifically chose Lily's dark chocolate chips, they are stevia sweetened, 55% cocoa, vegan, and non-GMO. The non-GMO has nothing to do with this, but, but they just are. So this is 60 of those. So they are sweetened with stevia. Then the next thing is a half of a cup of carrots. And these are just regular plain old carrots. These do not have any sugar on them. They don't have anything in them. It is carrots and water. The next thing is a half of a cup, let's see. The next thing is a cup of, oops, I accidentally put a half of a cup on your list. So sorry, it is one cup. One cup of instant quinoa. And let's see, what is next here? One cup of instant quinoa, a half of a cup of refried beans, fat-free refried beans a half of a cup of pumpkin. I almost forgot the half of a cup of quick cook oats. Ooh, quick, quick, quick cook oats. 16 turkey pepperonis. And one cup of sauerkraut. Okay, so I know that's a really long list, but I want y'all to put that in order of like, what do you all think? So out of all that, out of two slices of fit and active 35 calorie bread, a banana, a medium apple, a small potato, 60 lilies, dark chocolate chips that are stevia sweetened, a half a cup of carrots, a half a cup of quick oats, one cup of r white and red instant quinoa, a half of a cup of fat-free refried beans, a half a cup of pumpkin, 16 turkey pepperonis, and one cup of sauerkraut. What do you all think has the least number of carbohydrates? out of that whole list. And I'll give you just a couple of seconds. So what do y'all think has the least amount of carbohydrates? Mm -hmm. <laughs> least amount, like the lowest amount of carbohydrates. Are y'all still with me? Still with me? The potato, least amount? The least amount of car, like the lowest number of carbohydrates out of everything that I just said. Okay, Cheryl, oh, hi Cheryl. Cheryl says the pepperoni. Evie says the fat-free refried beans. Carol Lou says turkey pepperoni and then sauerkraut. Okay, Lynn says sauerkraut. So let me start putting these in order here. Heather says the dark chocolate chips. Okay, we've got a couple of votes for the pepperoni. Got a couple of votes for the sauerkraut. Uh-oh, the carrots are getting some votes got a couple of votes for oh, the pepperoni is getting lots of votes okay sauerkraut and then carrots sauerkraut's getting a lot okay the beans were in there 
Trish says the Lily's chocolate chips. So I will put these over here. Ooh, and Tanya's picking the bread. Tanya's picking the bread. She says she's picking the one that would be the most surprising. Okay, so I'm going to stick bread over here. Okay, sauerkraut's getting a lot. Sauerkraut's getting a lot. Pepperonis, turkey pepperonis are getting a lot. Oh, Loretta says it's pepperonis. Okay, so far nobody said pumpkin. Nobody's guessing pumpkin. Okay, so past those, what do y'all think are, is the highest? So what do you think are the highest? Ooh, Lisa says banana. What do y'all think are the, the things out here that are the highest in carbohydrates? So, okay, Loretta says carrots. So we're gonna move the carrots over here, okay? And then Mary and Lisa, are y'all saying that the apple and the banana are high in carbohydrates or that they're, are we all finishing up our low list? So what do y'all think are high? Okay, banana, okay, Star saying banana, Betty saying banana, Mary saying quinoa, so we're gonna move this over here. Okay, and Carol says the carrots and then the apple or the banana. Cheryl says potato and bread. Man, y'all are picking on the banana. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you're picking on the banana. And Teresa says the quick oats. Okay, the oatmeal. So y'all think the oatmeal is in the highest. And the potato. Okay, Sandra says potato. Jackie says oatmeal. Trish says potato. Cheryl says the apple and the banana. Oh, and Lisa's saying hi. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I just want to be sure. Okay, and Betty says or the bread. Robin says the potato. Jackie says oatmeal. Okay, so everyone has chosen oatmeal as the highest, I think. So do we agree? Do Are we in agreement that the oatmeal is the highest? And this is just a game. I'm not saying you're right yet. Okay, so Sherry is saying the lowest is the pepperoni and the highest is the potato and the bread. Oatmeal and potato. Susie says oatmeal. Barbara says potato. Loretta says oatmeal. Loretta's been doing some homework. Although that's not what I've got. That's not what I got. Rosie says bread. I'm going to take a sneak peek. Okay. So this is fit and active. Fit and active, 100% whole wheat, whole grain bread, 35 calories. So, oh, and Carol says the fruit is higher than the oatmeal. Okay. So, okay. So we're saying that the banana. Yep. Okay, Lisa says bananas high, pepperonis low, takes says bananas high. Gina says, tonight's my first night, but I am late, yay! Wait, everybody stop, everybody stop. Until Gina, hi. Hello, Gina. So we're playing a game right now, Gina, in case this just seems like chaos. So everybody tell Gina hi and tell, fill her in on the game because she's gonna wonder why I'm just saying people's names and banana, why I'm saying Patty, banana, Loretta, carrots and banana. Lynn, sauerkraut lowest, banana highest. Yeah, so everybody tell her hello. Everybody tell Gina hello. We have a few more minutes to guess on this. Yep, everybody welcome her. Hello. Everybody say hello to Gina. We're so glad you're here. And late is okay. I've just been talking, talking, talking. Okay, so I'm going to try and put, I'm going to try and move these into the three lowest and the three high, oh, and it's Tanya's first time. Everybody tell Tanya hello too. So Tanya, does it just look like chaos? Everybody tell Tanya hi. See her name going by right here, Tanya, right there. So everybody tell Tanya hi. Hello. And if you're watching this later on YouTube or um, if you're, yeah, and Rosie goes, hello Gina, our new egglet. Yeah, and Tanya too. Um, so if you're watching this later on um, youtube.com, search if you have an egg, you'll just have to say hi. <coughs> Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is put, I'm going to try, based on what you all have said, I am going to rearrange these into the low, the three lowest and the three highest, okay? So based on what you all said, I have got turkey pepperoni, sauerkraut, and then I don't know, which one do you want for the lowest? Which one do you all want? Do you want the beans? Or do you want the Lily's chocolate chips that are made with stevia, that are stevia sweetened? So based on what you all have said, I've got turkey pepperoni and then sauerkraut. And then do you all want um, refried beans or do you want the 
Lily's chocolate chip, dark chocolate chips that are that are stevia sweetened. Which one do you all want next? And thank you all for welcoming our new people. Yeah. So turkey pepperoni, sauerkraut, refried beans, or Lily's chocolate chips. Because y'all are kind of tied on those. Kind of tied on those. Carol says chocolate chips. Oh, Evie says beans. Teresa says pumpkin. She threw in a wild card. Pumpkin? Okay. Uh-oh. Margie says lilies. Liz says chips. Cheryl says chips. Oh, Loretta says chips. Okay, I'm moving the chips in next. Okay, then what do you think? Pumpkin or the beans? Pumpkin or the fat-free refried beans? Which one's next? Yeah, I think the chips have just moved into third place. So, pumpkin or fat-free refried beans? Robin says chips. Marzi says chips. Rosie says chips. Or lilies. Nina says chips. Patty says chips. Chocolate chips. Liz says lilies. So which one, pumpkin or refried beans? Y'all are on the chocolate chips. Teresa says chips. Loretta says chips. Susie says beans. Okay. So we have beans. We're still, still talking about chips. Patty says chips. Maria says chips. Yep, Loretta, you're right. Chips win. Yeah, so I put chips in third. And Jackie says she's stumped. Okay. Beans. Bernice says beans. Uh-oh. Teresa says pumpkin. Carol Lou says pumpkin. Lynn says pumpkin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tag says pumpkin. Loretta says pumpkin. Okay, I think pumpkin wins. Okay. Pumpkin's going to go next. Then the beans. Okay. Then we're going to do the beans. Okay. And then what we have left is carrots. So where do y'all think the carrots go? Are the carrots... It seemed like the next on your all's list were the carrots and the bread. Those seem to be like kind of in the middle. The carrots and the bread, you know, were kind of in the, that middle range, you know, once we got past the really, really low ones. Um, and Jackie says, I feel like running into my kitchen because I have everything. And Loretta, yes, I think pumpkin wins. Okay. So now we have carrots... Oh, we only have eight minutes. Carrots and... Oh, and Liz did a little pumpkin. That's cute. The carrots are the light bread. And it's two slices of the light bread. They're 35 calories each. So two slices of the light bread or carrots. Uh oh, okay. Robin says carrots. Barbara says carrots. Marianne says bread. Oh, Loretta says carrots are higher. Tag says bread is next. Rosie says carrots are next. I don't know. It's kind of neck and neck. Bernice says carrots and then bread. Sherry says carrots. Uh-oh. The carrots are pulling ahead. Cheryl says uh, carrots before break and also before the pumpkin. Or before the bread. Carol Lou says bread lower than carrots. Bread. Uh-oh. Carrots. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to put carrots next. I'm going to put carrots and then I'm going to put bread. Okay. And then do you think the rolled oats, these are quick oats, or quinoa? Which one is next? Because you all pretty much put the potato, the banana, and the apple all together. So we're just going to do the quinoa and the quick oats, and then I'll give you the results. Then I will give you the results. So quick oats or instant quinoa. You got just a couple more minutes. Oats or instant quinoa. Which one do you think? Oats, okay. Barbara says oats. Robin says quinoa. Mm -mm. These are a little bit harder to shuffle around. Loretta says oats. Lynn says oats. Evie says quinoa. And Dusty's down here circling. He's like, ah, what do you have, Mama? What have you got? Because he, oh, he sees things. He sees things in my hands. Quinoa, quinoa. Uh oh, Carol says quinoa. Tag says quinoa. Lisa says quinoa. I think quinoa's getting ready to win. Jackie says quinoa. Oh, no. Loretta says oats. Did you vote twice, Loretta? Sherry says oats. Patty says oats. Uh oh, we're back neck and neck. I mean, literally neck and neck. Maria says oats. Ooh. Oh, Susie's got nothing on this one. Okay. Uh, and Betty says hi, Dusty. Oh, he stopped to look. He goes, what does she have? What does she have? Oh, and Loretta says Dusty says oats. Okay. So we're going to do oat. Uh, Cheryl says oats and then quinoa. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And then you all had pretty much the fruit and the potato potatoes together. Okay, so going down our list, let me just tell you what we have. So the turkey pepperoni. Everybody said turkey pepperoni. Oh, hi, Carla. Carla doesn't get to watch us live much. 
So everybody say hey. The turkey pepperoni, there's 16 in a serving. It has one gram of carbohydrates <coughs> and one smart point. So one gram of carbohydrates, pretty good. Okay, so right now that is number one. You all decided that the sauerkraut was number two. The sauerkraut, for one cup of sauerkraut, it is nine grams of carbohydrates and zero smart points. Then you all said the Lily's chocolate chips. This is 60 Lily's chocolate chips. And again, they are stevia sweetened, 50% cocoa, vegan, and non-GMO. They are for 60 chips. Hold on just a second, I closed my bag. Oh, I closed the bag over the top of it. Okay, for 60 of the chips, it is nine carbohydrates. So this is right in line with the sauerkraut. Okay, good job on that. And it is two smart points, I believe. Okay, that's the chips. Then you all said the pumpkin was next. Okay, the pumpkin for a half of a cup of just canned pumpkin is 11 grams of carbohydrates and zero smart points. So y'all were right on the money with that. For the refried beans, it is 22 grams of carbohydrates, but also zero smart points. So that's 22. I'm gonna set them over here a little bit. Then it came down to the carrots and the bread, a half of a cup of plain carrots. So that's a half a cup. A half a cup of plain carrots is six carbohydrates, six. So it actually is gonna go over here. It's gonna go in second place so far. Then the two slices of the Fit and Active 100% whole wheat, whole grain bread. They're 35 calories each, 16 grams of carbohydrates, and two smart points. So that's actually going to go before the refried beans. <laughs> and Cheryl cheated because she's doing low carb. Okay, then let's see. You all said, okay, but we don't get to minus the fiber though, Loretta. Remember, we do not get to minus the fiber. We're just talking about carbohydrates because, because most people doing a low, no carb diet don't have any idea what you're talking about. They have no idea what you're talking about, okay? So remember, we're just saying just flat out carbohydrates, just carbohydrates. We're not talking sugars. We're not talking anything else. Just carbohydrates, how many it has. This is just for informational purposes only. Okay, then the quick oats, and they're too heavy, I'm not picking them back up, but the quick oats, a half of a cup, are 27 grams of carbohydrates. So the beans are less than the oats. One cup of the quinoa, one cup of the quinoa, 34 carbohydrates, 34 and four smart points. So I'm gonna stick it over here at the end. And then, the medium apple. The medium apple has 25 grams of, um, uh oh, Tanya's froze. The medium apple has 25 grams of carbohydrates. 25, so it is less than the oats, a little more than the beans, but less than the oats. The potato has 29, so it is just a little bit over the oats, but it is still less than the quinoa. And the banana has 26.9, 26.9, 27. It's a decent sized banana, so I'm gonna say 27. Okay, so that means that it is refried beans, apple, banana, then the oats, then the potato, then the quinoa. Okay, so let me say if let me see if I can get all of these in the correct order because believe it or not, I didn't write it down before we started. Silly me. Okay, so the actual correct order is, oh no, we have one minute because I have to explain everything. Okay, the actual correct order is one, one gram of carbohydrates for the turkey pepperonis, six for the pumpkin, for a serving, and remember we talked about servings, six for the pumpkin, then we have nine for the chips for the lilies, um, stevia sweetened chips, nine for the sauerkraut. So those are together. 11 for, I'm sorry, the carrots. Did I say carrots? I meant to say carrots. Carrots. Nine for the chips and for the sauerkraut. 11 for the pumpkin. 
16 for the two slices of bread, 25 for the apple, 27 for the, I'm sorry, oh, I'm getting out of order, 22 for the beans, 25 for the apple, 27 for the banana, 27 for the oats, for the, these are quick oats, they're quick oats, they're not, you know, whatever, they're quick oats, 20 nine for the potato for the small potato and 34 for the quinoa okay so that said all carbs are not bad so you all know apples are very good for you 25 25 grams of carbohydrates compared to nine for a thing of chips okay this is totally different carbs totally different carbs an apple is very good for you it's very sweet the chocolate chips are delicious. They are delicious. This 25, am I saying that right? This is 25 grams of carbohydrates is not worse for you than these stevia sweetened chips. Okay? Okay? So, all food that started out as a plant is going to have carbohydrates. So, oh, hello, Sandra. Also, sauerkraut, nine grams of carbohydrates. Nine grams of carbohydrates. A cup of this is the same amount of carbohydrates as this. The quinoa, quinoa is extremely good for you. Extremely good for you is 34 grams of carbohydrates. 34, super good for you. But you know what, what the carbohydrates do? If you eat good carbohydrates, they fill you up. They bulk you up. Um, they do hashtag bulk it up. So having carbohydrates is not a bad thing. It's absolutely not a bad thing. So please do your research. Please check serving sizes um, before you get too excited about any of this. Um, you know, check it out. I mean, everybody, almost 100% picked, <coughs> excuse me, picked carrots as super high in carbs. These are only six carbs for a half of a cup. Six carbs. Um, you know, carrots. So I'm not a huge fan of a low, no carb diet, unless you're doing it for medical reasons. If you're doing it for testing, do it because your doctor said to test it. Um, if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, or you have some other health condition that, that, um, that, you know, you need to, um, to, you know, to limit your sugar, let your doctor or your dietitian tell you, does that mean that I'm telling you that you should not eat the Lily's chocolate chips? Absolutely. I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you that. Just keep in mind, these 60, Lil 60 Lily's chocolate chips have, um, not, have nine um, carbohydrates. This has 25. This has two points. This has zero points. Same thing, you know, same thing with all of this. These beans, yeah, sure, they're 22 grams of carbohydrates, zero smart points, zero smart points, because they're good for you, they fill you up, and it's not a high abuse food. How many of these little cups of Lily's chocolate chips could I sit and just chuck back, you know, chuck back like shots? Yeah, a lot. Okay, I don't do shots. I would do chocolate chip shots. But, um, you know, but these, this is a higher abuse food. Okay, so my point is, don't try to cut out all carbs unless your doctor tells you and anyway and you can't cut out all carbs so people that are doing a low no carb diet if they tell you they're cutting out all carbs then they're eating all meat they're just eating all meat they're not eating any vegetables all vegetables have carbs okay so this was not a preaching moment this was a teaching moment so everybody just keep that in mind check out your carbs remember our homework oh yeah one that says melt the chocolate and dip the apple in it there you go. Um, I'm actually thinking the pumpkin and the quick oats and these and making one of those uh, muffins like Popcorn Karen was making over in our closed group. But anyway, it is good. Yeah, and Tanya says it's food information. It's not just good information. It is food information. So, and Susie says forever, forever, I would always eat salads, never having a sandwich. Finally, she's eating sandwiches again, and it's great. Awesome. <coughs> okay. So, you all have an awesome and amazing week. Don't forget your homework. Check it out. Look for things. Please do not be micro-focused on carbohydrates. There are so many other things that we need to be looking at. You know, um, sugar, you know, is one of them. If you'll notice, the ones that have the higher sugars, have the higher sugars. <coughs> Sorry. East Tennessee. Um, those have the higher points. 
So just check it out. Please don't be afraid of any food. Please do not be afraid of any, any food. So do your homework, tag me in it. Y'all have an awesome week. We will talk next week. Um, maybe, depends on what the topic is this week and I haven't looked yet. I have not peeked ahead and looked yet. Depends on what the topic is. We may get to talk some more about serving sizes because I know that's really important. And it's really, I mean, it's really important to me too because, you know, you gotta keep it all in perspective. Let me see. Come here. And he thinks we have food. Dusty thinks we have food, but he's willing to come over and say goodnight. And I want y'all to see his haircut. Come here, buddy. Oh. And y'all notice I, ooh, every time I bend over and pick him up. But Dusty has a fresh haircut and he wants to tell everybody goodnight. And he wants to tell y'all to have a great week. And yes, Lynn says have a blessed week. You all have one too. Um, yes, Kathy, carbs are okay. They are okay. Yeah, everything in moderation, Kathy. Everything in moderation. Yes, that is exactly what this week's topic is about. Carbs are not bad. Carbs are not bad. Okay, so go back and rewatch it. Watch it on later on YouTube in case you'll have it posted on Tuesday. Um, but everybody have a great week. Do not be afraid of your carbs. Um, and let me know what you swapped out. I'll see you later. Have a great week and I'll see you next week. Oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, <coughs> please subscribe. Let's see, watch the next one subscribe, or if you want a shirt, please place an order. So y'all have an awesome week and I'll see you later. Good night.